The old saying, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, isn't the figure of speech anymore. Bed bugs are crawling over mattresses and crevices and carpets across California and the country. And heading into the busiest travel week of the year, bed bugs are reportedly hitchhiking with airplane travelers. Why is San Diego playing reluctant host to this persistent pest, and what can we do about it? Joining me is Dr. Michael Wall, curator of entomology at the San Diego Natural History Museum. That's, that's the question, but I guess uh, we should really start out with how do you know if you have bed bugs? Well, there's a couple different ways that you can know you have bed bugs. One is that you could actually be bit, you could have bites, and the bites look like kind of like a mosquito bite. It's a, it's a small welt, about a half a centimeter, half an inch in size. But unfortunately, a lot of people get bit and have no reaction at all. So they guesstimate that it's around 25 to 50% of people will have no reaction to a bed bug bite at all. So uh, you might not know that you have bed bugs. You could be being bitten by them and have no idea. So what do you worry about then if you, if you have bed bugs and you don't show signs of being bitten? I wouldn't worry about it personally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless I saw them, you know, and once you start to see them, then of course you, it gets a little bit creepy. All right, well, I'll, well, a lot of people are going to be traveling next yep. week and, and they are worried. So what can you do to kind of protect yourself and your luggage from that bed bug that wants to travel with you? Uh, some of the recommendations that they give people is to, uh, when you're traveling, uh, to uh, take plastic bags with you when you travel and you can bag your clothes up once you get to a hotel room or somewhere where there might be bed bugs. Uh, you would want to bag your actual luggage as well. I mean the main thing is to avoid giving them access to either your clothes or your luggage. But otherwise, I mean, they're kind of insidious little creatures and they're kind of hard to avoid once they're implanted. But uh, we do they spread disease? Do we have to worry about that? No, uh, no, absolutely not. And there's been a fair chunk of study that's uh, been done on that, and there's no evidence that they uh, spread any type of disease, unlike you know something like mosquitoes. So right now, it's really sounding as though we're more worried than we need to be. If you don't get bitten, or you don't show signs of a bite, and you don't see them, and they don't spread disease, why are we so concerned? Uh, I think that it's because it feels like an invasion of our privacy. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, they're bed bugs. You know, they're in our bed. I mean, it's one of the most, you know, private sanctuaries in our lives kind of thing. And to have something crawling in and taking your blood, well, I can understand why people would find that creepy. But, you know, uh, there's probably not a lot to worry about in terms of health ramifications. So are there any conditions on which they find particularly attractive? Uh, the warmer uh, it is, uh, the better. So uh, they can their life cycle goes much faster when it's warm, uh, and so they can reproduce more quickly and all of that sort of stuff. So, um, you know, other than that, they like it warm. They like it dark. Uh, they like little creeks and crevices to creep into the seams of your luggage, the seams of your bed, all of that sort of stuff. All right. Now they've been around for a long time. So why are they resurfacing now? Uh, there's a suggestion that, um, that when DDT was outlawed in, uh, back in the uh, 70s, the pesticide DDT, that, uh, that, that, that it's taken a while for the populations to kind of recover from, they were not eradicated, but their populations had been decreased so much that they were essentially eradicated. With, and with the, um, with the outlawing of DDT, that the, the chemicals that we use these days although effective, um, are possibly not as effective as DDT was. And yet, that's the only answer, isn't it? it bring in the professional exterminator. Uh, certainly my recommendation is that you want to bring in professional uh, exterminators, but, but, you know, probably do a little bit of research on it on your own and make sure that you really quiz your exterminator about, uh, ab about their experience dealing with bed bugs because it is such a recent um, thing you might ask for references and okay. um, and see what sort of experience they have before you hire them thank you very much dr michael wall thank you